In this problem, we're told that we have a meat near that is being made to walk the plank. And the plank extends three meters beyond its support, and it will break if subjected to a torque greater than 3,300 newton meters. And we're asked if the sailor, would the sailor break the plank before stepping off its end? Well, um, they don't actually give us the weight of the sailor, so we could figure out what the maximum weight that this could support when the sailor, the mutineer, is at the end. Um, and again, this is assuming that this person isn't bouncing or is very walking very cautiously so that we minimize the dynamic loads. So we have our, our plank here that's supported okay, off the side of our ship and which has a length of three meters. So we can draw a free body diagram of that and we have that we have the weight of the mutineer at the end. Um, and if we when we detach it here from the from the side of the ship, we have a force and a torque acting. And so this force must be equal to this force, so that we have um, equilibrium, um, translational equilibrium. So this thing isn't moving up or down. And then we have to need we need a torque here to keep it from rotating. Um, so we can figure out, given given the weight of this mutineer, what this torque will be. So we can um, calculate that, that that's, that torque is just three meters times the weight of the mutineer. And if this is to not break before the person gets to the end, then that has to be less than or equal to 3,300 newton meters. Um, and that tells us that this weight, the weight of the mutineer has to be less than or equal to 1,100 newtons. And if we convert that to pounds, we get that the weight has to be less than um, about 247 pounds. So as long as this mutineer hasn't grown fat um, eating all the other, um, his shipmates' food, then this plank shouldn't break um, well, even if, when he gets to the end of it.